So um, I actually watched uh, Lou's video, you know, my final, uh, my end uh, AMC video, whatever it is, where he basically said in the video, whatever AMC shares he has left, he's going to sell at these ridiculous, low, insane prices. Um, pretty much rock bottom. You know why this disturbs me? It disturbs me on a lot of levels. So we're going to go through each level it disturbs me on. This is the same mother Rafa who said he had secret connections. I just want, if, I don't know, maybe there's people who have not been watching Lou as long as I did, but this same guy said, I have secret connections where they're telling me exactly what's happening with AMC. He made claims that corrupt banks offered him more money than he would make on the Moaz and he turned it down. You know, he would never ever sell out retail and he's going to ride with everyone to the end and his Vegas parties and they're all going to celebrate when they all get their attendees and all of this. And, and, and it's like this two to three year frigging journey. To, to hear Lou say that, to hear Lou say, I'm selling at the rock bottom, I'm out. First of all, oh man, it's just, it, just, it just disturbs me on so many levels. I feel like, I feel like saying so many things, but let's just, we'll go with one topic at a time. Let's assume it's true. Okay, we'll assume. Let's assume that Lou really is selling his AMC at this point, okay? Then, Lou, you owe everybody an effing apology, you friggin' Mama Luke. You stunad, you piece of garbage. Because, Lou, you're telling everybody this whole time, I got secret connections. I, I got the, the most prestigious traders. Everybody, oh, well, remember when Lou, he, he set up the J.P. Morgan <laughs> meeting and all of that. Listen, me. Lou, you have been talking so much bullshit about AMC. March 3rd, Evergrande going into bankruptcy will start the Moaz. Elon Musk selling his uh, Tesla shares will start the Mo Moaz. Market crash, higher interest rates will start the Moaz. Remember, he even one time said the war between Ukraine and Russia would start the Moaz. I mean, this guy, I mean, it's so many things. So you owe, you owe everybody an apology, man. Listen, I'm not selling, okay? I took a friggin' beating. I'm down friggin' 90 plus percent, but but I'm not selling. And, and you're selling after all of this bullshit, after every, after getting 73 million vo views from AMC, <laughs> after getting what? Over 83,000 subscribers. Now you're out at the lowest, think about that for a second, at the lowest, lowest level. Nah. Now, is it possible that Lou was just a bullshit artist that he never owned AMC or he owned one share? Because doesn't he look, look, doesn't Lou look very calm for a guy who's got to be, if he's been holding this whole time, right? He's down like, what, 90 plus percent like all of us, right? He looks a little too calm. He doesn't look stressed out to me. So it could only be he's got like friggin' one to two shares of AMC, I mean, I just can't figure it out. Okay, you the guy doesn't look nervous. The guy doesn't look upset. I got so upset with AMC that forget about the friggin' fits I had. I had fits that would scare anybody. I had fits that would scare Michael friggin' Myers. That's how angry I get. This guy looks like he doesn't give a shit. He's like, he's relaxed and calm. He's always been relaxed in all of his videos. It's like throughout this whole friggin' thing, the guy always looks relaxed and calm. So that's what I'm saying. It just disturbs me on so many levels. It's like either the guy's a complete bullshit artist, never owned AMC or owned one or two shares, or we'll give him the benefit of the doubt that he's telling the truth. And he basically just let everybody down because it's lies. That's the thing. You owe an apology, Lou. Just apologize. Look, just be like, look, I made up a lot of shit. <laughs> I never had secret connections. I just wanted to make a lot of money on YouTube. All right, fine, you know, but at least man up. You know, it's like no apology, no explanation. That's it. I'm out. All right. Why do I feel like he's going to do the same thing with XRP? Look, everybody thought XRP was going to have this amazing friggin' day on November 30th. It didn't. 
Okay, it's still freaking complete trash. Sixty one cents, I think, last time I checked. So it's like, at what point is Lou going to do the same thing with XRP that he's doing right with AMC? He's going to build up this huge audience again. He's going to build up all these people that are holding with diamond bulls to steal with XRP. And at some point, Lou's going to just say, I'm sorry, but I'm out. <laughs> it's not working out. I'm out. I don't know. You tell me what you think. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is for entertainment purposes only.